This will be a lesson on a Kansas Joe McCoy and Memphis Mini song called Juliet Bound. The song is in Spanish tuning, however, the pitch that they use in the recording is a little bit off from a standard key. So what I would suggest is that you either capo up to the second or fourth frets, and then just copy the pitch I have on my guitar. Here is the sixth string. Fifth. song once and then get into the lesson. starts out with this lick. And it's actually a little simpler than it may sound. It's an alternating bass between the 5th and 4th strings open. And on the treble side, all you're doing is doing a bend on the 3rd fret of the 3rd string. Light bend, and then the second string open, and then the third fret of that second string, and I'll just hammer into that. That way, there's less work that you've got to do with your fretting hand, with your plucking hand. and then you'll just repeat that. And then, you'll do that bend into the second fret, into the third string open, second fret of the fourth string, pull off into the open string, back into the third string open. So what you've got is this little bending riff twice, and then that way of kind of capping it off. So. where you hammer into the third fret of the second. And you do that, as you can hear, twice. First, and then second. And then that way of capping it off. And that's really it. Once you combine it with the alternating bass, it'll sound something like this. I'll do that again. Notice that you hit that first initial bass note, and then on the alternating bass note, you start the treble riff with a pinch on the alternating bass. So, first initial bass note, and then a pinch that starts the treble riff. Open fifth string, and then you hit the second string open, and 
then you do a pinch between the fourth string, which is the alternating bass note, and the third fret of the second string. And pardon me. It may not be a pinch if you decide to hammer into that note. On the third fret of the second string. And then you'll squeeze in that bend on the third fret of the third string before you hit the fifth string open. And that will be a pinch between the fifth and second strings. fret of the second string to the fourth string open. And then you do a bend on the third fret of the third string into a pinch of the second and fifth strings again to the third fret of the second string and then you hit that fourth string open. Then you cap it off, bend on the third fret of the third string, pinch up the fifth and second strings, third string open, and then you do a pull off on the fourth string, second fret open, and then you pinch the third and fifth strings. Now I know that was a handful, so going through it, once more, it'll be like this. Hit that initial note. Pinch on the fourth and third strings open, third fret of the third string. So. Fifth string open, second string. And then you hit the alternating note bass note, and you squeeze in that bend on the third fret, and you pinch fifth and second strings open. fret of the second string, fourth string open, so. And you cap it off, bend on the third fret of the third string, pinch, second and fifth string, Fourth string, second fret to open, and pinch the third and fifth strings. And now that I'm playing it all together, I'm noticing that you won't necessarily hit that as a hammer on. You might just pluck it. That third fret of the second string. So as you can see, you'll play that chunk twice. First time. second time and then you'll actually play it again except a little bit differently you'll only do a bend on the third fret of the second string or just vary it slightly so that it's a little bit different just to break it up and you'll see what I mean about the purpose of just breaking it up 
with a slightly different way of doing it. So you've got the first way of doing it. As we've just learned it, and then second time. And now you'll play it in a slightly varied way. So you can just do, as you can hear there, just a slight bend on the 3rd fret of the 3rd string. Or adding in other notes like the 2nd string open. It's just slightly different, you're not doing the full. It's just slightly different. So, now you've got three go rounds of this, one and two and slightly different. So you got one, two, slightly different, and then you've got one, two, exactly as it was before. So it's kind of mirror. You got first time, second time, slightly different, first time, second time. So it's a mirror image. So you've got this all together. bend on the third string. And then you've got the mirror image, first time, second time. And now you're already close to the end of the song. We'll play this. So that's the first part of the ending. I'll play it again. And then there's a second part of the ending that's a little bit more drawn out. that first part of the ending. So you've got bass note on the fifth string, then sweep up on the fifth fret of the top string, and feel free to hit some of these adjacent strings open. And that will be with the alternating bass on that fourth string. And then you pinch the top string open with the fifth string open. Second fret of the top string. And then top string open with the fourth string open. you can also do that as a pull-off. And then the second string open. And then you'll pinch the third fret of the top string and the fifth string open. And then the alternating bass on the fourth fourth string, and you'll move down to the second fret of the top string. Fifth string open, top string open, second fret of the top string, pull off again into the open top string and hit that fourth string open. Squeeze 
in that second string open. And then you'll just do that same sort of walk down on the top string. Third fret of the top string, bought fifth string open. Pinch on the second fret of the top string now, walking down. Fourth string open. Open top string, and fifth string open. Come up to the second fret, and hit the fourth string. So, all together, this first part of the ending, play the slightly more involved version of the ending, which is very similar. You'll go... Again. Open, fifth string. Hinge on the fourth and fifth string open, or fifth fret of the top string. Open top string. Fifth string open. He'll come right down to the third string open. And then you'll hit a pinch on the third fret of that third string. And then just continue playing that alternating bass. And you'll just bend that. So. And then pinch third string open, fifth string open. Fourth string into the second fret. And then finish it off, third string open, fifth string. And then you'll just kind of repeat that an octave lower. Third string. Third fret, second fret, open on the fourth string. Open fifth string. Bend on the third fret of the fifth string. Open fifth string. Bottom sixth string, second fret into the fifth string. And then you'll just cap it off by playing the fifth fret of the top string. Just sweeping up on that a few times. And when you sweep up on it a few times, start it with an initial pinch on the fourth string open. on track with the alternating bass. And that is really the entire ending. So let's go through the ending one more time. First part, second part. There's kind of this mirrored section, and then there's the ending. So starting with the mirrored section, first... First section is there, second... Kind of that center point. And then the mirrored section. And then 
there's the ending. That is generally how Juliet Bound by Kansas Joe McCoy and Memphis Mini goes. I hope that helps to kind of shed some light on what they're playing. Thank you for watching.